Math 31, welcome to section, or I should say welcome to example two, where we're gonna build a logarithmic model from data. So let's take a look. Sales of a video game released in the year 2000 took off at first, but then steadily slowed as time moved on. As time moved on. The table below shows the numbers of games sold in thousands from the years 2000 to 2010. Let X represent time and years, starting with X being one for the year 2000. Let Y represent the number of games sold in thousands. Use logarithmic regression to fit a model. All right, so I don't want exponential, I want logarithmic. They gave me my base year. Now this is, this is different than what we normally do. They're setting their base year, they're setting X equaling one to be 2000. So this isn't gonna be year zero, this is gonna be year one. Another way of saying that, if, if this helps, they're setting the base year to be a year before that, to be 1999. And you might be thinking, well, why didn't they just set 2000 to be year zero? Well, we're doing a logarithmic regression and you can't take the log of zero or a negative number. So we're gonna set our starting X value at one. So if I convert all of these, they're in order. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. All right, so I would say, hey, pause the video and get your data entered into your calculator. I already did, so I'm just gonna pop over here and I wanna draw a scatter plot with you first and then I'll, I'll head over to my computer and show you how to run logarithmic regression. Um, I'm gonna clear out anything I had from the previous problem, but I do have my data in my list. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit zoom nine. And that does look logarithmic, right? It's growing, but you can see it's slowing as it's growing, all right? Versus exponential, it's continually heading up. All right, so I've got logarithmic, it does look logarithmic. And, and I, even if I wasn't sure if it looked logarithmic, the directions say I use logarith logarithmic regression. All right, so I'm gonna flip over to my computer and show you how you get logarithmic regression or how you run logarithmic regression on your calculators. I'll see you in a bit, bye. Hey, round 31, let's take a look at how we can run logarithmic regression on our calculator. It's very similar to all of the other regressions we've done. So with that, get your data entered into your list. So I already did that. Um, and then go back to your home screen. Right? And then we're gonna go to logarithmic regression. So we're gonna do stat, we're gonna go to calc. Now logarithmic regression, and, and when I say logarithmic, I specifically mean natural log it's down at option nine. So you have a couple of ways to get there. You can scroll down to nine, which is not my favorite way of doing this because it's such a, it's a quite a few button pushes to get down to nine. And then you can hit enter, or you could have just hit, let me show you a different way. Let me clear this out. This is how I do it. I just go stat, calc, and then I just hit option nine because I know it's the natural log regression. So feed your calculator L1, L2, all right, and then let's go drop this into Y1. And then when I hit enter, there we go. There's my Y-intercept, and there's my little coefficient in front of the natural log function. So with that, I'm gonna flip back to the computer, and we're gonna finish this problem out. All right, I'll see you in a few, bye. Okay, now that we've seen that, let's think about how we go from this answer, or this calculator output screen, to our answer, for a midterm. So we would have A plus B ln X. We know our A value and we know our B value, so plug them in and that's, that's all we need. So Y would be equal to 141 point, I'll go three decimals, 0.912 plus 10.454 ln X. Okay, and that's it. There's your logarithmic model, and that's, that's what we were asked. We use logarithmic regression to fit a model. All right, so now, moving on from there, it says if the game continues to sell at this rate, how many games will it sell in 2015, round to the nearest thousand? Okay, so be careful. We want the year 2015. You can do it a couple of ways. You can count, if you knew 2010 was year 11, you need to go five more years right, because 2010 to 2015 is five more years. So take 11 and add five to it, and you get t is equal to 16, or remember that your base year is 1999, so x is gonna be equal to 2015 minus 1999, which is 16. 
So however your brain needs to get there, we gotta get to X is 16. So 16 years after 1999. And I want the Y value. This is my X value. So let's see, what is Y at X being equal to 16? Well, that is gonna be 141.912 plus 10.454 times the natural log of 16. All right, so let's see what we get here. Let me go back to my home screen and we're gonna do 141.912 plus 10.454 times the natural log of 16. And it looks like it's about 170.897. So here we go. 170.897. Now, if we look at the units, right, these are already in thousands. So this number 167 represented 167,000 units of that game being sold, right? This is the number of the game sold. And so when my directions say round to the nearest thousand, this number here, 170.897 thousand, Right, is really the decimal 17897. So my answer, if I'm rounding to the nearest thousand, is that in the year 2015, 171,000 or close to 171,000 of these video games were sold. Oops, I don't know if we can see all of that. Let me just scooch that up a bit so we have all of that in our view. Okay, now if I wanna check this on my calculator, I can. You just gotta make sure you run through regression, right? And we did that on my computer, I didn't do it here, so let me run it. So stat calc nine, I'll go L1, L2, and I'll drop it into Y1. All right, there it is, let me hit zoom nine, and let's see what they give me for 15. So I'm gonna hit second trace, I wanna calculate a value, so I'm gonna go with option one. Which X value do I want? 15. And when I hit enter, I'm, I'm gonna get an error, all right? And we've talked about this error before, but it's so good to, to review it. So when I hit enter, my, my calculator freaks out. And the reason it's freaking out is it doesn't like the number 15. If I go to my window, my largest time value is 12, and I'm asking for 15. So it gets really, really cranky when you do that. So just at change your X value to be anything larger than 15. Um, for today, I'll go with 20. And again, whenever you adjust your window, don't hit zoom nine, it'll set this right back to 12. Go ahead and just hit graph. All right, and we've got that. So let's see what's happening in the year 2015. And again, this is when I type in, ooh, you know, I think before I was doing an X value of 15, Right? Ooh, that was incorrect. I needed to do 16. Um, so I apologize for that, but actually since I put 20 in here, 16 is just fine. So let's do second calc one. We'll hit option 16, or option, we'll hit in 16, and I get, yep, yeah, 170.896. All right, and it's kind of up here. It's harder to see because I don't have that much um, range. Let me, I can adjust my window. Let's say we kick this up to 200, and you'll really be able to see it. So there we go, now again, second trace, plug in 16, again, not 15, I had that, I, I was thinking 2015 and it was really year 16. And that's a common thing to trip up on. You can see I'm still doing it to this day. All right, and then I get 170.896, which is around 171,000 video games. All right, so with that, we're gonna flip over to our last example. We're gonna do logistic regression and then that's gonna end section 6.8. All right, I'll see you in a bit, gang, bye.